Hey guys, it's here. Let's go check it out. This left-hand drive car was born in Japan in 1968 and sold to the European market where it would live for 54 years in the Netherlands. Right there, spray by. Good. Keep it coming a little more. While there, the previous owner began a full frame-off restoration. This car must have been very solid and rust-free before the restoration because I can't see any previous damage or places where the body had been cut and replaced. Very good. That's good right there. Yeah, good job. Can I put one chuck over there? Yeah. Good work. Thank you. Great look, man. It's interesting. So did you have to take it off the trailer any, or did it just ride the whole way where it was sitting? Uh, it was on the same spot. Okay. We didn't move it. Good. If everything is okay, all I need is a signature. Okay. Is that a good email to send you a copy of the invoice? Okay. Thank you so much and thank, thank you. you for doing this on Sunday. Awesome. Yeah, no Thanks. problems. Yes, thank you. Guys be safe. Thank you. Y'all right. take care. Bye. Wow. It's a lot of parts. Mm-hmm. Think we can get it going? Yeah. <laughs> I don't see the engine now. Well, let's do it. There you go. In the engine bay here. Pretty simple car. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping this piece is in the front. Because I didn't tape it on if unless it fell off. Before the restoration was complete, it was purchased by my good friend David from the YouTube channel Drivers Therapy. David documented the whole process of purchasing the car, wiring the money, having it transported by container ship from the Netherlands to Canada, to Florida, through the Panama Canal, into Los Angeles, and then by truck all the way to Colorado. Once there in Colorado, David made around 30 videos detailing everything he did to the car to continue the restoration process. I uh, pop the trunk. Ha! Stays up too. How about that? Maybe it's a Honda. Figure all this stuff out. That's right. He had that recovered, or not recovered, but he had that refinished like a uh, the new Civic Type R. They have the uh, mm -hmm. the red valve cover. Like that one on your wall. Yeah, same way. That was an uh, Integra Type R valve cover. All right, so here's the head. Just curious to see how bad it was. Yeah, it's like it's cracked in two of the cylinders. Right there and right there. Let's put it on the workbench. Starter, it's in a million pieces. And the transmission. Let's see. 
Where do we put it? I guess we'll put it over there. I'm gonna leave that on. They may fall off. Oh, okay. You had them on there for a reason. Yeah. I like the gauges. Gauges are very cool. I like the wheel too. Yeah. It's got a little crack in it. I wonder if that can be repaired or if we have to replace it. We might can even repair that dash. It's got a crack there and a crack here. Oh, that's cool. To lock the door, you move the door handle up. So right now I can open it with the outside. Do it like that. And now I can't open it. It's locked. Now it's locked. But if you go down, they're probably in those boxes. Yep. I'm hoping the window regulators are in there. So it looks like here's the clutch master cylinder. And that it bolts up. Let's see if I can get that in there. Some bolts right there. And the bolts there. Then there is a the actual clutch pedal protrudes from the, the firewall here. Clips into that portion there and so it's backwards. It's backwards from a normal clutch master cylinder where there would be a hole in the firewall and the pedal would pivot and either push a fork or a rod you know to connect to the, to the master cylinder. So in this case the pedal assembly is actually right here. So it's pretty neat. <laughs> I like this one. It says bag B engine unknown. Well, at least he's honest. <laughs> at least he's honest. <laughs> uh, Engine unknown. Engine unknown. Yeah, let's try it out. Ready? Yeah. Looking good so far? I think it'll clear now. Okay. We'll go slow. <laughs> yeah, it's clear. We're off the ground. Let me get a light here. Yeah, that's the shifter assembly. Not sure what that is. Looks really good underneath. They had to have done a frame off. Yeah, restoration. somebody detailed underneath frame and body. Frame and body. Yeah, looks like whoever did it did a very good job. All the detail work. They had to have had this body on a rotisserie or something. This thing is pretty incredible. Hey, look at this brake cylinder. Never seen one like this. It's a disc. It is a disc, but it, it looks like the cylinder pushes out. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how that works. I'll have to figure that out. Got a harness on this side. All the boots look good. I think all of this has been refinished. Yeah. Refinished, replaced, whatever. Well guys, it's finally here. This Honda S800's had a lot of work already done to it, but there's still a lot more to go. So please follow along, like and subscribe and comment and come back for more if you want to see how this thing turns out. Thanks a lot. Take care.